morning friends today we will discuss about designing of ideal cstr that is continuous stirred tank reactor so first of all i will like i would like to tell you about that construction of cstr so it is a continuous stirred tank reactor means tank if so we have a cylindrical tank like this and continuous stirring uh, is going on so means it simply means there is some agitator or impeller for mixing and continuous stir tank reactor continuous means there is a continuous flow because cstr is a flow reactor normally we have two types of reactor as we discussed in last class one batch reactors example is ideal batch reactor and second one is continuous flow reactors there are two types of reactor we will discuss first is cstr and second one is pfr so today we will talk about cstr so in cstr since it is a flow reactor so we have a continuous output stream and you know that output will be continuous only when we have a continuous input to the system for example so let's take the volume of this reactor to be vm okay so this is continuous stir tank reactor and it has some characteristics what are the characteristics like as you can see it has continuous input continuous output and in last class we discussed that all the flow reactors operate at steady state condition so this reactor also operates at steady state condition so it simply means the accumulation in this reactor will be zero okay and one more thing suppose we have a mixture like this this is a mixture reaction mixture in this reactor because of this continuous mixing agitation there is a continuous distribution uh, there is a uniform distribution in this tank in this reactor so this is one point you can note down that because of the continuous agitation or you can say stirring concentration distribution is uniform actually concentration distribution will be uniform throughout the reactor means throughout this reactor concentration distribution will be uniform at any instant of time the concentration throughout this reactor at all point of this reactor will be same and say that concentration is c means we have a component a and the concentration of component a is c and the initial concentration of that component a was c a not the volumetric flow rate of that stream was v not and molar flow rate of that stream was f a not because this is steady state condition to output flow rate will be same as the input flow rate so volumetric flow rate will be same at exit which is denoted by small b and obviously molar flow rate will change because some moles will disappear in the reactor some moles will take part in the reaction so that's why the molar flow rate will change in this reactor so this is clear to all of you so one more thing i like to tell you 
that we say this is a mixed flow reactor this is a CSTR and CSTR also known as MFR BMR etc. MFR means mixed flow reactor and BMR means back mix reactor mixed flow reactor because it is a continuous flow reactor and there is continuous mixing going on in this reactor that's why it is known as mixed flow reactor and it is also known as back mix reactor why so in simple words I would like to tell you that this is a impeller it rotates like this and this tank this point is input and this point is output so there are some new molecules suppose because of from this inlet stream and there are some old molecules in this reactor near to the exit stream near to the outlet so because of this rotation of the impeller some of these molecules flow back towards the inlet and the in these molecules which are near to the outlet interact with these molecules which are just entered in this reactor so simply molecules in outer side say kuch molecules wapis are in backward direction and they are interacting with the inlet molecules so this interaction of molecules is mixing and because output molecules are coming back to the inlet molecules so that is called back mixing and this reactor known as back mix reactor okay so because of this backward mixing this is called back mix reactor so this is something about your ideal CSTR so there is one point you should know that remember that because of the continuous agitation concentration distribution throughout the reactor is uniform so it means and the concentration in the reactor is CA so concentration distribution throughout the reactor is uniform it means near the outlet valve also the concentration will be same as that of in this reactor so it simply means concentration of A at the exit will also be same as that of within the reactor so in this CSTR one important point was this concentration distribution was uniform throughout the reactor and second important point is concentration of concentration at the exit or you can say at exit stream concentration so one more important point is this concentration of exit stream is same as that of within the reactor ok so these are two important points you should know these are two important characteristics you should know about the ideal CSTR first concentration distribution throughout the reactor is uniform and second concentration at the exit will be same as that of within the reactor ok so this is something about your CSTR now we will talk about de design equation of ideal CSTR
So we have a tank. There is a continuous input. Initial concentration of A say C A naught. Volumetric flow rate B naught. Molar flow rate is F A naught. At outlet concentration is C A. Volumetric flow rate will be same V naught. And molar flow rate is F A. Volume of reactor is V M. Suppose. so you know that from general mole balance equation what was that rate of molar rate of a input is equal to molar rate of a output plus molar rate of a accumulation plus molar rate of a disappearance minus minus molar rate of a generation so in this case because throughout the reactor concentration is uniform means at each and every point we have same concentration so it simply means the average concentration of the reactor will also be same so we can do overall material balance for this reactor hum iske liye point wise balance karne ki need nahi hai because at each and every point concentration is same so at each and every point component balance will also be same so we will do overall material balance for this reactor so molar rate of a input f a not molar rate of a output will be f a molar rate of a accumulation change in moles per unit time dna by dt right no this is a steady state reactor we talked earlier in this class all the flow reactors operate at a steady state condition so if this reactor is operating at a steady state condition so it simply means the accumulation will be zero am i right yes i am plus molar rate of a disappearance so molar rate of a disappearance is denoted as minus dna over dt and molar rate of a generation that will be zero because a we are assuming that a is disappearing in the reaction the reaction is like this okay <coughs> so tell me one thing from the rate equation from the rate of reaction for component a we define for unit volume of reaction mixture we can write minus ra as my 1 over v minus dna over dt where dna over dt is the molar rate of a disappearance so in this case molar rate of a disappearance will become minus r a into v k is it clear yes so the final mole balance equation will become f a not minus f a is equal to minus r a into v this term we can write it as r a into v and you know that you can write f a as f a not 1 minus x a see here 
V is what? V is the volume of reaction mixture. We can write FA like this. And V is the volume of reaction mixture. So this equation will become F A naught into X A is equal to minus R A into V. Or you can write it as V over F A naught is equal to X A over minus R A. Where this V, the V is the volume of reaction mixture and you know that volume of reaction mixture will be same as what? Same as the volume of reactor. See for example, we have this bottle. ये आपका वन लीटर का बोतल है इसमें कितना जब ये आप मार्केट में परचेज करते हो तो इसके अंदर कितना वाटर मिलता है आपको वन लीटर सो बट एक्चुअली अगर आपको पता होगा तो इस बोतल का एक्चुअल वॉल्यूम कितना है ऑब्वियसली इट इज मोर देन वन लीटर बिकॉज ऑफ सम एक्स्ट्रा वॉल्यूम हम मार्जिन लेके चलते हैं डिजाइनिंग में फॉर एवरी इक्विपमेंट बट जब अगर आप कैलकुलेट करोगे तो इस बॉटल का वॉल्यूम हम कितना कैलकुलेट करेंगे अगर हम इफेक्टिव वॉल्यूम की बात करें दैट विल बी सेम एज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर इन दिस बॉटल सो इस बॉटल का वॉल्यूम सपोज 1.5 लीटर है बट इसमें सिर्फ वन लीटर वाटर हम स्टोर करके रख रहे हैं तो कैलकुलेशन में आप कितना वॉल्यूम लोगे से इफेक्टिव वॉल्यूम लोगे ना दैट इज वन लीटर सो You can write this V as volume of reactor. And R A is the rate of reaction. X is the conversion of A achieved in that reactor. V M is the volume of reactor required. F A naught is the initial molar flow rate. And this equation is design equation of ideal C S T R. it is clear to all of you so that's how we design the cstr this is the designing of ideal cstr iske aage ki baatein hum kal karenge in next class in next video so that's all for today thank you